Who's ready? Who's ready to crochet with me? If you are tuning in, let me know what you're sipping on. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Or you could let me know how your day is going using just one emoji. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Let me put this in. Yes, okay. So like I said, we're going to be crocheting a wig today. So this is definitely going to be according to your pace. I'm going to see if I can finish this whole wig on this live. So that's going to be a challenge for me. But yes, this is the texture. Let me show you everything I'm using. This is the crochet wig cap with the combs. I purchased this from the Beauty Supply Store. It was four dollars okay four dollars i can show you what it looks like you take it out the pack let me show you so when you get your crochet wig cap this is how it looks it comes with two combs you guys can see us two combs right at the front and then we have a comb at the nape okay we got arizona in the building yes so this is the base of your crochet wig cap. So this is super important. If you are someone who was looking to switch up your look, you want to make your own unit. Maybe you want to start your own business. You have something, some goals, some aspirations you want to do. Girl, this is a great way to start. You can go at your own pace. If you don't have time to do like a wig in one day, you can do 30 minutes per day. And girl, so again, this is the crochet wig cap. Hello, kiss, kiss from Brazil. Okay, how you doing? How you doing, Michelle? How you doing, Michelle? So if you're someone who doesn't like combs in your crochet wig cap, you need to get a seam ripper. If you guys don't know what a seam ripper is, this is everything that you need in your life. Even if you wear lace front wigs, a seam ripper is going to help you to remove the combs. The combs are sometimes what are like digging into your scalp, sometimes creating breakage. So, girl, get your get yourself a seam ripper. How you doing, queen? How you doing? Thank you. Thank you. So, as you guys could see, I did the mid portion of this unit because I wanted to see what I could get done beforehand. So, I did the middle portion of this. So, here we go. We get to see it's full. Okay. I love this texture. All of the details are linked in the description box if you guys want to check it out. But here we go. You guys could see it's not super full. You don't have to make your unit super full. You can create some space. So good afternoon. How you doing from Toronto? Ooh, Toronto's in the building. So I'm gonna go in and show you guys a close-up of the hair that I'm using. So look at this. This is the hair. I think they discontinued this, but I have two links in the description box. So you guys can figure out which one works for you. But honestly, I'm trying to teach you guys the techniques so you could do any texture, any look you want. This one is for my natural girls like who like a natural texture. This is why I'm doing this for y'all. Oh, and make sure that you um hit the thumbs up button as you come in if you appreciate this content because this is free. This is free game. This is one of your faves giving you all the tea. So when you get this particular hair. Greetings from Amsterdam, yes. So when you get this particular hair, you get two bundles. This is really good. So you get two separate bundles. Not very long, this is great for this time, okay? So if you want texture, you want curl definition, but you don't want it to be too long, this is perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and trim off one bundle because I work in sections. So here we go. We about to get started. If you're just tuning in, if you like this type of content, you know what I'm saying? Hit that thumbs up button. We about to give a lot of free game. So you guys can see the, the I'll call these the little holes within the cap on this side are bigger. So this is really good if you if you're starting out. You can start at the center like I did, but honestly, I feel like this is the easiest 
place to begin because the the holes themselves are larger so it's you will do less hair you have to use less hair so okay you're like pink where do i begin because i don't know i don't know what i'm doing so i like to take it run my fingers through it because there's going to be some shed hair you want to make sure that you get all of the shed hair away from the section that you're going to crochet in good evening how are you and then i'm going to split it into two now let me tell you something some of y'all are like oh my wig came out too frizzy it's looking puffy how many times did you split the hair sis did you split it once did you split it twice did you split it three times i know sometimes we try to make it last but look two is enough and if you're thinking you're like i don't know which latch hook i should use because there are a lot of different latch hooks and these are all called latch hooks so sis look at all of these okay different sizes this is super tiny girl if you are making a unit with a u-part or like it has um the lace parting this is when you would use this the super thin one this is also super thin. Again, if you're doing like a lace part crochet wig, which they, which they do offer, this is when you would use this. If you're doing faux locks, this is what you want to use. Um, if you have enough, a wide enough loop, okay? If you have a wide enough loop, if you're doing passion twist, this is a really good hook to use because it is larger. You get more grip at the base. It's wider. It's honestly comfortable, in my opinion. And these are pretty much standard, but one of these is a little bit smaller. You wouldn't really realize it until you saw it up close. So again, because it's faux lock season, okay? A lot of the girls are doing the faux locks. This is one of the best, in my opinion. One of the best. If you have a faux lock that has a nice loop, this could give you the best grip, the best comfort. It's 130-something people up in here, and I'm out here giving y'all, you know, my techniques. I need you to hit the thumbs up button, my love, okay? So here we go. I think I'm gonna use the standard size. I'm gonna use the standard size. So let's see. I'm going to start crocheting. So when you crochet, can we zoom in on these? Oh, we can't, we, we can zoom in. Okay, I always start closest to the band because again this is your foundation so i'm about to since we could zoom in i didn't know we could zoom in up in here so i'm gonna open up the latch hook y'all let me let me let me back up open up the latch hook right this latch is down this is super important the latch is down it's open with the latch down and open i'm gonna push it through the edge of the diamond because these are all little diamonds holes i'm going to push it through one edge you see that let me let me really get up in here let's see how let's see how much we can zoom okay now i'm about to take this i'm gonna latch it you see i'm gonna pull that closed because it was open before but i'm gonna push it closed slide it through oh that was loud now i have my loop once the hair is through i get a loop right yes i got the loop right i'm gonna take one end right bring it through i'm gonna take another end bring it through if you are a beginner and you're scared you're not comfortable take it through a third time it's nothing wrong okay but when you do three knots to secure the hair in place make sure that you push it super tight it should be basically flat and tight by the time you push that loop forward should i get closer can you see and she's connected she's connected just like that just like that let me see let me move the um good to know i used the right one yes thank you honey coming from coming with the tea yes yes i mean if y'all i mean do y'all want this because i mean i'm not seeing the thumbs up do, do y'all want this like should i just pack it up and go so i'm gonna when you're spacing your knots what i need you to do two finger widths apart right two finger widths two and a half depending on how large your fingers are two and a half right so i'm gonna skip this skip this two fingers 
and I'm gonna go right in here because you're not they should not be right on top of the other they should not be one two three okay we got another one we have another one now let me get into my groove now let me this is the trick so if you want to like create a realistic looking texture you don't want to let's say you don't really want to um perhaps you don't you don't want to always separate your hair you can go in without separating the hair and crochet it in just like that I love your earrings. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. These are from Bling Team Jewelry. Okay. Okay, look. See, I'm already, we already, we're already across the side portion. I'm about to speed this up so y'all know what's up. Okay. I put my lipstick in the description box just in case y'all wanna, y'all wanna see. Now, when it comes to doing crocheting the hair near the combs, that's why I take the combs out. Honestly, if I can be real with you, take the combs out. It's the best thing that you could do unless you know your customer wants combs. When I create wigs, I always leave the combs in. Thanks for the help. Of course. Always leave the combs in. Yes. I mean, so what y'all doing for the night? I mean, I'm over here trying to just do some content live because I do not feel like editing a video yes let me see y'all see that let me get the hair out the way so y'all could really I'm gonna take this and pull it out the way How you doing, Kwasima? It's been a minute since I've seen you in the chat, girl. Yes. I'm splitting the hair twice. And yes, girl. I'm about to get into my groove. Due to illness, I had to shave my head. Um, is this something I could wear with basically a bald head? Just, just wondering if it will stay secure. Sorry, I just joined. No, it's okay. So if you are someone who maybe experiencing like hair loss if you have alopecia of any sort any other you know um you know situation where you maybe experience like I said, experiencing hair loss you can definitely use this why i recommend this for someone like yourself you could take the combs out you don't even need the combs to secure this wig in place so this has a great elastic band a very tight elastic band now i have a 23 and a half inch circumference head this fits very snug but still very comfortable so that's all you really need you don't listen someone like myself you know if i was experiencing any type of hair loss i would when i got a wig like this i would just take the combs out and wear it you can literally wear it and go it's very well ventilated for those of you who like i hate wigs in the summer this is a type of wig that i wear to festivals if you guys notice whenever i go to festivals i'm wearing one of my own wigs because it offers the best ventilation. There's no glue. There's no glue. Okay, we're not doing glue, okay? No glue. Not even necessary. You don't even need to do your edges unless you want to wear your own natural hairline. So that's, you know, I will be cooking and washing my units today. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hello, beautiful from Louisiana. Yes. Where did you get the rope? I got this from um, Nordstrom. You could go to Nordstrom Rack to get it. But I think it is sold out. Every time I share this, it sells out. So hopefully they re-up, okay? So yes, this is the perfect option. I'm telling you, on average, on average, these wigs, if you get you some clearance hair, because that's the real, that's the real tea that y'all don't talk about. Get you some hair on clearance, okay? Get you some hair on clearance. And literally, the hair alone could cost you $30. The wig cap, $4, okay? $4. Go to the beauty supply store and get the, um, the crochet cap. If you can, click, click the link in the description box. And then 
you know, go get the picture, go to your beauty supply store. Like, do you carry this? Can you guys order this so I can use this? Trust me, they will do that. If the demand is there, they gonna do it. Yes. Love your work. Thank you so much. But I just wanted to show you guys. You see, I wish, I just wanted you guys to watch me work. This is something where if you wanted to try this, put me on in the background, sis. You know what I'm saying? Just let me play. Okay, can we please hit the thumbs up? I love that you guys are joining me. I love to have you here. We can have a nice little kiki. It could be a chat with me while we crochet. But make sure you hit that thumbs up button and show some love. Mm -hmm. Love the lipstick. The lipstick, I have the details in the description box. It's from Sephora. The brand is from Too Faced, okay? I don't like the name. The name is a little suspect. Lady Balls. I don't know what they meant by that, but maybe they're making reference to something, but that's the name of the lipstick, girl. Um, I feel like I haven't seen you crocheting forever, girl. I'm going to be honest with you. I have not been in the mood to do crochet. You know, I haven't been in the mood. Like, it's so saturated. Like... You know, I feel like y'all seen it already, but I know you probably like, we want to see how you do it. It means we are bosses. Oh, it's not, it's not Lady Boss, it's Lady Balls, like B-A-L-L-S. Lady Balls is the name of the lipstick, not Boss. B-A-L-L-S. Yeah, girl. From Mississippi, we in. Girl, let me tell you something. How you doing, Angela? Yes. Um. So this, I'm gonna be real with you. I've made myself my own wigs and last me into a year. But granted, I don't wear them every day, but when I wear them, I could wear them on and off for a week, two weeks. But the thing is, you gotta trim your unit. You know what I'm saying? Do a little, you know, do a little, um, what do they call that word? What are they, like a sweet little, what is it? Is that the word that they use? Uh, like, a, you got to sweep the end. I don't, I don't remember, I can't remember the term. We gotta do a little snip. We got California in the building. I love crochet wigs. I use old weave hair. Come on. Dusting, yes. Oh my gosh, dust the ends. I don't know why. I'm saying sweet, girl. You caught me. You gotta dust the ends. Very simple. Very, very simple. It's nothing too difficult. But y'all see, I'm almost done. Look at that. We not even 30 minutes in. I'm about to be done with the section. Okay. Do you ever use clip-ins? Of course. But what do so you mean like clip-ins in real life or do you mean like clip-ins on here? On a crochet cap. But yes, I do use clip-ins. I love clip-ins for when I'm doing an updo. So if you're someone like me and you know you don't really want to have your hair exposed but you want a nice updo or if you want only a portion of your hair because you're part of the 4c 4z 5g lte crew and this this heat right now is going to assault my hair so it would be um it would be giving very much poof at the front and clippings in the back and i don't want that right now so i save clippings for like cooler weather you know the vibes Prepping to crochet my hair tonight. Yes, come on. So freaking beautiful. Sending love from Florida. Thank you so much. Love to see you. How's the weather out in Florida? What's the temperature? Ooh. Wear your SPF, y'all. A lady made one for me. It's thin at the top. Help. Ooh, so. Okay, so whatever you make a crochet wig and it's thin at the top. All that lets me know is that you placed the knots at the top too far apart. Okay? If you get, your, and this is the thing, don't be afraid to ask whomever is making you your crochet wig. Like, you know, are you comfortable with either sharing the name of the hair or the, the maybe the vendor that you used um, so that you can get it? Or maybe you can take it to the beauty supply store and say, can you help me figure out what kind of hair is similar to this? And you can fix that yourself. Could, when either she didn't get your measurements right for your wig um because maybe your head was a little bit larger than she thought your head stretched this the cap 
And so maybe on a smaller head, those knots wouldn't be as far apart maybe because your head may be larger or she didn't use enough hair. It's very sparse. You really got me telling everyone I have 5G LTE here because we do. Listen, listen, y'all out here talk about some clippings in the summer. I mean, what part of what part of a character do you want me to look like? Because that's what it's going to give. It's not going to give what it was supposed to give. Tried making a crochet wig a few years ago and it looked terrible. So let me tell you something. A few years ago, the crochet caps were cheap. They were cheap, okay? But they were flimsy. These are just as affordable, but they have better structural integrity. And that's what we want. You know what I'm saying? We want the caps with the better structural integrity because these are the caps that will last you for a year. Because you, this is the thing. You can wash this cap and everything. Take you some lukewarm water. Don't make it hot. Put a little bit of alcohol in there. Maybe a little bit of tea tree oil. Essential oil, please. A little bit of shampoo. Swish it around. Drop the whole wig in the water. Agitate the water with the wig. Come on, take the sweat out, neutralize, get that odor out in case you're sweating too much. Perfect. She said, come on, LTE, come on. Me and Verizon going to have to talk. We got to talk about that name because, you know, LTE is for the girls. Okay. Late to the party, 4C clippings, what I miss. Girl, you ain't miss much. 4C clippings are everything. But see, like, you know, if I, you know, kind of want to contain my hair and then I step outside, do I want poof or like what's the look I'm going for? Because it won't be the look, you know, it'll it'll poof. But if you want to do like, um, like a fro at the top, 4C clippings will work. But just understand if your hair responds to the elements, to the temperature, to the humidity, it could look a little different when you step outside. You need to be on television. I could sit and watch you all day. You have gotten me through some rough times. Oh, thank you for your energy and love for hair and helping others. Thank you so much. You know, I just come through and I just be wanting to share my craft. And I appreciate you for that. Like, because sometimes I'm like, do the girls even really want to see me do this anymore? Like, you know, but thank you so much. I live for you. Yes. That lipstick is a bomb and it's sold out. And that's the part. This lipstick has been sold out for so long it needs to stop. I'm going to find a dupe because, girl, this is the sexiest red lip. But you know, okay. Because I, I knew y'all was going to ask. So this is, this is my lipstick combination. So you guys can see exactly what it is. This, whenever I wear this, y'all love this color. So this color I think is in stock. This is drop dead red. Go get this now. When fall roll around, you're gonna be ready. This is you see that that burgundy? Come on, on my melanated sisters. Come on. And then the red. This is the red. So I use this liner to tone it, to you know, tone it down, bring it together. This is a match made in heaven. Okay. Mm -hmm. I used to make crochet loops all the time. You gonna make me start back please come on because see the thing is, why do i like crochet wigs because nobody will have your look you could do you could do so many different color combinations nobody's gonna have your look love nobody your energy is beautiful thank you so much it's okay girl i already know i'm gonna look the same i want to try them so bad yes Okay, so let's see how we look So you see what I'm gonna do, cause I'm still working on this same section. I wanna make sure it's not too much of a gap in between. So right here, I wanna fill this in. Okay, cause I'm like, oh. It's a little sparse and I'm gonna fill it in right in the center. Mm -hmm. And I just do two knots. You are the best girl. Thank you so much. Y'all are so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. I watched you and learned to do the crochet wigs. Yes. 
Let me tell you something. If you're good with your hands, if you're good with her, your hands, you're quick with your hands, girl, because let me tell you, dedicate 30 minutes to learn how to crochet. You're going to change your whole life. Look at that. So let me tell you something. If you don't know if you have enough hair, it's okay to, you know, just leave it like this and let's move on. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to move on to the next side. Boom. We will be working with the next side. Let me see. Again, we got 200 something people up in here and the thumbs up is giving not the same energy. Did you hit that thumbs up button, girl? They have the lady balls color at Macy's.com. Okay, ooh, somebody just put y'all on. If y'all want this lipstick, she said it's at Macy's. Stop playing, stop playing. One thing, one thing about my community, we gonna put each other on. I love it here. How many packs? So that's the thing. I'm not sure yet. So far, two and a half. Um, because I don't know what color I'm gonna do. I, like I have two other packs over there, because I need to figure out the color combination that I'm gonna do. Oh, and let me tell you something. Did we talk canvas blockhead? Make sure you get a canvas blockhead. If you can't get a canvas blockhead. Get a styrofoam wig head. Don't sleep on styrofoam wig head. If you don't want to make the investment now, get a styrofoam wig head. But a canvas block head is for the long run. It's an investment that's worth it. I can keep this for like six months to a year, maybe even longer, because I hold on to my stuff. That's one thing. One thing about me, we won't hold on to it till the wheels fall off. Yes, let's go. Let me do... Now, you know, I want to speed things up because, you know, I did that whole side in less than 30 minutes. Did y'all catch that? Mm, you probably ain't even realize. That's how we moving. Again, just so I can catch y'all up, refresh y'all. When you're placing your knots two finger widths apart, I feel like that's the safest thing to do. If you have really large, because I have small fingers. If you have larger fingers, let's think about it like this. If you get the latch hook set that I told you to get, girl, place these two by each other, same distance. They call that equidistance, right? Use the regular latch hook and this black one, that's the distance. Just in case there's a discrepancy with the width, you know, the width of the fingers. But we on the same page if you use this, right? Girl. Hmm. I like the video. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for thumbsing up the video. If you guys have any types of questions about hair, it doesn't just have to be about crochet. You know me. You are slaying, sis. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And people keep asking me about courses. Y'all, y'all want to do courses, girl. I'd rather just come on here and kiki with y'all, but we may have something up our sleeves. We'll see. I'm gonna try your grease hair dude. Let me tell you something. Go find that tutorial. Go find that tutorial of me in grease with that sexy ass hair. Let me tell you something. Number one, you're gonna look fabulous when you wear that hair. That's just that from that. But the the energy that that hair exudes. Oh, oh. Okay. The energy, you're gonna, it's, it's such a great energy when you wear that hair. Make sure you wash that hair first and a little bit of apple cider vinegar, some shampoo, suave shampoo, okay? We love that. You hold it on to the finished product or you just wanna give away? You know what, Miss Kim, I feel like some of y'all know me. I feel like y'all know I love a good giveaway, but I do secret giveaways. See, people don't know that. People don't know that. People don't know that. So what I'm probably going to do, once I post the finished product, I'm going to post a picture and tell y'all to enter the giveaway. Because you know we love the giveaways. It's giving tuition tees. Come on. Y'all are funny. I love it here. Yes. Now here's the thing. Hopefully I can move fast enough. So I just, wait, what is it? 
So I just bought the grease here, waiting for it to be delivered. Yes, and let me tell you something. As soon as you get it, anytime you get crochet hair, wash it first. Wash it. You can. That's the best thing that you could do. That is the best thing that you could do. Go ahead and wash it first, and you're going to thank me. A little bit of apple cider vinegar, lukewarm water. Um, what did I say? A little bit of tea tree essential oil. Very good. Tea tree essential oil is an antiseptic. We love to keep that on hand. Um, treat your wigs. They're going on your head. Keep them clean. Love that. Um, and in the grease, in the um, in the grease, in that tutorial where I'm in grease, I show you guys how to wash the hair. So I'll be linking that in the description when this is when this live is over. Oh, and another thing, I gotta speak about this. So even if you're crocheting on a wig cap or your own head, you want to stagger your knots. Your knots should not be one on top of the other. If you're doing that, then you're leaving you're increasing the risk of it being sparse, okay? So stagger those knots. I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm gonna split the hair twice, just like that. Now, look at this. Y'all can see that? So there's a knot right here, and there's a knot right here. I wouldn't go and place a knot right there, right above this knot, because that's, I don't want to do that. I don't want to place a knot right above. I don't want to place a knot right above. I want to place it in between, which is right here. Okay. Let me read some of these comments. Let me let me get into it. Somebody said I melted a lace for the first time last week. My question is now, how do I get this glue out my? Ooh. Okay. So. That's a good question. So if, okay, because let me, it's so hot. I don't know. I don't feel like the earth has always been this hot, girl. Like, it's hot. So I've actually started contemplating um, getting like a lightweight glue for my lace wigs because I was jumping rope and my wig was definitely sliding back. So to all of y'all out there, definitely be careful. Um, Because I didn't even realize it was sliding until I took my my phone out and it was, it was back so if you get a glue see if the glue comes with a remover I'm not I'm not gonna advise you guys to um, I'm not gonna advise you guys to buy a lace glue if it doesn't come with a remover every good glue should come with a remover every good glue should come with a remover that's just that's it because you want products to work in tandem so like the almighty lace bond glue it comes with a remover so i highly recommend that combination because it literally will pull the, the glue off so again um i've been trying to get some bold hold products but they're always sold out so i'm struggling with that i made contact with them hopefully you know we can get our hands on that but we're going to have to find something a little stronger than a spray. The Ebon Glue, come on. Great. The Ebon Glue is great. I think the Ebon New York Lace Bond Spray is really good for beginners. But here's the thing. If you use Ebon New York, the Lace Bond Spray, in between, you know, this. so let's say two or three days go by. Try to clean off your hairline. Because that stuff, it starts to build up and it creates a white residue. That's what I noticed. It gets very sticky. Very sticky. You got to be careful with that one. Hey, Fantisha, how you doing? Did I say your name right, Fantisha? Mm hmm But they have, let me tell you something. They have great products on the market. I went to the beauty spa store, got the Ebon New York Lace Bond Spray, $3.00. Erica J. Okay, I'm gonna have to try her too. I'm gonna have to try. Her. You know what? Here's the thing. Come in my comment section and let me know because I do forget about a lot of those things. A lot of people have been asking me about bold hold that liquid gold. The last time I did a live, y'all told me bold hold liquid gold. I'm trying to get that, but I will definitely check out Erica J. I'm open to that. I'm open to that because I'm sure she does. She have a remover for the the glues. Cause you know I'll try it. I will definitely try it. 
this is bomb thank you pink of course but i would tell you what's the longest y'all wear your wigs like if you glue a wig on how long do you want that wig to stay on I love your crochet technique. Thank you so much. Because I know, girl, I've been I've been wearing this wig for forever. One thing about it, I'm gonna wear the wig and get the money's worth. I don't care if it's forty dollars, four hundred dollars. I'm gonna wear the wig and make sure I know what I'm talking about. Hey beautiful, can you tell me what stand you're using? Okay, great question. Thank you so much. So this is a canvas blockhead. So this is much better than a styrofoam wig head, but still you can use a styrofoam wig head. This is the Gex. So this is the best, one of the best wig tripods. Um, purchase the updated one. I think I linked the updated tripod. This is the one that you want. Like it is super sturdy it has like three different levels for you to adjust the height um you can adjust how the top of the head pivots this right here will help you adjust how to pivot you know if you want to bring it back look at that come on if you want to bring it forward if you need to turn, come on it's a little bit you know maybe a little pricey worth the investment can definitely keep it for several years if you take care of your stuff this is my second one, I believe, in probably like three to four years. Girl, I be holding on to stuff. I don't. See, that's me. I try not to wear my wigs for a long time. I switch up. That's it. But see, that's the thing. You know when you love a wig and that wig is just like you getting compliments. First of all, you feeling yourself. And then the energy just when you wear the wig is perfect. So you just want to keep wearing it. Now I did take this, this is a synthetic wig. I did take this off and wash the wig because girl, I've been working out a lot and it got a little sour. You know, that can happen because this is sitting directly on my neck. That's nothing but sweat. So I had to take, I had to shampoo her because I didn't know what was going on. She had a little stench and I had to get her together. It happens, synthetic wigs. <laughs> Even a human hair wig, if you don't wash it appropriately, it will, you need to neutralize, deodorize the, the lace, the caps, the wefts. I bought the Adana wig recently and I glued it down with the got to be spray, but you sit, but you still see the lace line around my but you still see the lace line around my forehead. What am I doing wrong? Are you okay? Whenever I lay my wig down like to install it and to melt it i'm always using an elastic band but there's a specific elastic band that i recommend because one it has it's thick great structural integrity great elasticity so it's going to allow the lace to be pressed more firmly into because this is a synthetic wig synthetic wig and it, girl do you see the lace you need an elastic band Go to any of my wig videos, my more recent wig videos, and you will see the elastic band I use. I didn't even use spray. I just used the Invincible Styling Gel. Come on. Somebody said... So yes, you need an elastic band when you are melting your wig. I prefer an elastic band. I'm not going to use a satin scarf. That's just not my thing. Um, You can use it, but... When you want to melt down, you need that elastic band. I was high love all the way from the South Carolina. I love your video. You doing the Mohawk looks and inspired me to do the Mohawk. Yes, let me tell you something. I'm about to bring the Mohawk back. I got something up my sleeve. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving my hair a break. She needs a break. Y'all going to see how much she done grown? Okay. I just like to leave my hair alone. Wear wigs. And give my hair the best break so then when I pop out, y'all be like, oh my god, your hair is so long. What are you doing? What's a good braid pattern for half up, half down? Okay, are you doing a sewing? Are you doing clippings? Like what what's it? Are you doing a half wig? Let me know what's going on with your half up, half down. Because if I can be honest with you. When you, I would do braids at the back if you don't want to do braids. 
You could do a ponytail for a half up, half down. Um, but it's all about how you part your hair. Because, you know, sometimes you bring it a little bit too far forward. It depends on how much leave out you want. Because I would bring, I would part my hair into two sections. Not too far from the front of my ear. That's where I would have my part. A little bit before. Don't, don't have it too far behind the ear. That part needs to be to the front. I switch up to, I name them, I wash them. Mm-hmm. My new thing is, I spray my wigs with a little bit. I've made a mixture. This is what I use on my wigs. This is water and peppermint oil. Stop playing with me. Let me tell you, I don't play with... Girl, I got all the tricks. Tricks with... Listen, I just want a light, fresh fragrance on my wig. I take a, just water and about... You know, I mean, I would say you need at least 10 to 12 ounces, something to fill this up, 8 to eight to 12 ounces, a little bit of peppermint essential oil, because it's very concentrated. Perfect. I, I don't know what it is, but it's been helping my wigs, even when I've been working out, so I love that. Ooh, I wear a hair wrap when I go to the gym to preserve my wigs. That's something, yep, yeah, that's also something you could do. When I know I'm going to be like jumping, doing burpees, you know, like just or a jumping rope, sometimes I will put an elastic band around, like I'll wrap an elastic band around my hairline so it stays nice and intact. And then here's the thing. When you finish your workout, you know what you got to do? When you finish your workout, let everything wipe the immediate sweat, like wipe the sweat off. Put that elastic band right back on. It's going to go, it, it's going to adhere right back to your skin. I do that all the time and it works. It works. You can get you a blow dryer just to, you know, take off that super moist, damp look. And girl, you're good to go. You're good to go. How long does it take to make a crochet wig that you that you make right that I'm making right now? So y'all have to remember, I go super fast. I go really fast. Um, I finished two sides of this wig, 42 minutes. Now that's actually pretty slow for me. Um, I could usually finish a wig in like an hour 15. Hour 15. Sometimes an hour. I've been in a crunch where I had to make a wig and like, I basically installed the hair in 45 minutes and spent the rest like five to 15 minutes just cutting and styling it. Now look, I'm done. I'm done with the sides. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Now this is the truth. This, this is basically a wig. This is basically a wig. Look at that, fullness, but not over-realistic. Now, if you, you know what I'm saying? You wanted to cut this a little bit and do a U part and just like crochet this cap onto some braids on your head, because I've done that, you could do that as well. Now, y'all gotta help me. So look, we got, we got gray, Y'all always asking for gray, right? So we got we got some gray in the building. So my this is TT Gray. I love this combination because let me stick it out of the pack. So the TT Gray, it has this nice silver, but it's a gradient. So you guys are gonna see it's not quite black, it's like a dark, deeper gray, and it transitions into super light gray. This is the TT Gray color combination. Do you like this? Would you want to see gray on the front of this? What do, what do we want? What can we see? What do, what do we see with this? Do we want gray? Let me, let me flip it. Do we want the gray with this? Do we want the gray? Because you got the gray at the front. Or y'all saying yes to the gray. Okay, we, okay let, let me show you the other one. It's whatever y'all want. So this one... This is burgundy. So y'all love this color combination. Burgundy, this is 99J basically. 
It's everything. I'm, I'm going to do the same thing so y'all can choose. This is what the gray is giving. I mean, I'm sorry. This is what the burgundy is giving. The girls are saying gray. We got to do the gray. Okay, let me try to do a side by side. Let me... The gray is, is doing a lot for me. I feel like we need that. Okay, y'all spoke to me. Y'all spoke to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right so let's do it i haven't done gray i always do burgundy let's let's switch it up let's see how far we can get with this now i want to get in my groove let me hold on The gray is fire. We about to see. Y'all said it's fire. Let's do it. So again, whenever you're making a wig, keep in mind some of the fullest parts of your wig should be at the crown. I would rather have more hair at the crown because when it falls, it can cover the sides. Don't focus too much hair on the sides. Your crown is the most important, especially for those dealing with alopecia, any type of hair loss in the crown. Very, very important. Okay, let me pin that back so I can see everything I'm doing. I was going to say you always do burgundy. I love burgundy, but that gray is nice. Yes, we're coming in. I'm listening. I'm listening. Why y'all think I went and bought this? We're going to do this one. We're going to do the gray. So you see, whenever you guys see me crochet, I'm always starting closest to the band. Because that's your foundation. That's how you can figure out how you're going to be staggering your knots, doing the brick layering. Now, you guys see, when I am doing my wig, it's secured to the canvas blockhead using T-pins. Very, very important. And again, remember, when we space our knots, we do about two and a half finger widths apart. I love it. That is giving silver. Like, we love that. It has a nice luster and it's just like a metallic look almost. I really like this. I like to see you do the short pissy styles with the long hair to the front. I am I am a short hair type of chick. Yes, okay, we got that coming. We got that coming, no worries. I need to find a really good pixie. If y'all have suggestions of a pixie that you would love to see me do, come on. If I find a pixie that I really fall in love with, you know. But I did a burgundy pixie not too long ago. I think I want I want a I want a a one B or a jet black pixie. I want to see what we can do. I want something gorgeous. I actually want these wraps robes. Let me tell you something. If you like my robes. Like the rope, Nordstrom rack. People sleep on Nordstrom rack. Please get into Nordstrom rack. Either I some, shop Nordstrom when they have their sales, the Nordy set, well, the Nordy sale that they have, do those. Or Nordstrom rack, um, Saks, Saks off fifth. Come on. You know. Macy's also has great robes. Y'all see, y'all see me coming in. Let me see, love them. See, I'm all about, sis, from head to toe, like, I can give you a whole outfit, hair, makeup. We could listen. If You could slay on a budget. It doesn't even matter. Because I just love to switch up my looks, so it has to be worth it in the end, you know? When is your wig weave collection coming? As for the pixie, can't you make it? As for the pixie, can't you make it? Educate us how to make a wig human hair. Girl, one thing about it, I know that I most definitely sometimes despise making wigs. I have never, like, from sewing it to gluing it because I've done all of that. I even thought about getting a sewing machine to make a sewing machine wig. 
girl i don't like making wigs that's just something i really do not like to do i would rather you you know have a wig i would rather me have a wig and then me style it girl because that's when i have the most fun i don't constructing a wig Ugh. Mm -mm. yes i will say if you are enjoying this live make sure you hit that thumbs up button you know let me know you appreciate the you know the vibes because i appreciate you for tuning on in i'm hoping this is helpful you know lots of things we discuss i'm always asking um i got if you got questions always ask them because i try to give my best answer Mm-hmm. Yes. What, what we got on time? Can you thumbs up more than once? Girl, I wish. I think the max you can thumbs up is like once. But you know what? You could thumbs up in the chat. That's love. We love that as well. Mm-hmm. Can you do a perfume haul? Girl one thing about it i was watching a ton of perfume hauls and i wrote down i just went to sephora i said you know what i'm just gonna spend 30 minutes smelling perfumes some that were recommended by my ig followers and some that i have seen on youtube so let me just say this i don't like a lot of stuff okay i, I i'm very sensitive to fragrance so i would prefer I can tell you what I have right now, you know. This has been the one. This is the one for me. But this is this is not a eau de parfum. It's a eau de toilette. So this kind of pissed me off. Because this was expensive and it's not a parfum, you know. So what? Won't be doing it. Well, I mean, I do like it. So that's the only thing. But listen. Mm-mm. I got about like probably four to five fragrances that I wear year round. I'm not trying to have a whole bunch. But you know, I do understand the importance of smelling like a snack, smelling yummy, smelling delicious. Because it, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Like, let me tell you something. Yes, I love it. The likes. You know what? Shout out to y'all. Just again, thank you so much for the love. Is he Miyagi Nectar? I'm sure you would love it. I like, okay, so I realize I like citrus. Um, is it citrus woodsy? Is that with Sephora? So I like, um, this is my all-time favorite fragrance. I'm gonna just let y'all know right here. This is it. I don't need, I don't, li listen, you step into the room. I don't need too much else. This is it. This is sexy. You understand? I've been wearing that for years. And it's the same effect every time. But also, it works with my body chemistry. Okay. Yes. We love it. And I bought this new Gucci perfume. Now, you know, one thing about me, I probably will not be buying Gucci again. Because once you cross me or well, my people, I can't really support you too much. So um, this will probably be the one and only time, or maybe I'll talk to God and we'll figure things out. But um, from an ethical standpoint, they can't get too much of my money. Um, but yes. Look, we almost done. We almost done. We almost done. Mm -hmm. Makeup is on point. She said, you step into the room, you don't need nothing else. Okay. We need that. We do. Girl. I mean, and I'm going to tell you this. Just because, it's, just because it's expensive, it does not mean that that's it. Okay. Expensive does not mean anything. But again, I'm a citrus, floral, sweet kind of girl. Um... Yeah, just to match the energy. It has to work with your body chemistry, yes? It's all about body chemistry. Because I can put it on, you can put it on. We have two completely different 
makeups and so it's going to have a very different aroma from your body and so it's good when you go do your perfume when you go do your perfume shopping i would say go in go into because i go into sephora or macy's um what's the other one blue what is it blooming dove you can go in there go to the perfume section first shop around you know spray your little samples and then move around the store and see how it works Go to go to perfume first, move around, spray yourself, do your shopping, come back and see which one smells the best. Don't rush it. But the perfume people do be aggressive. A little aggressive, a little aggressive. But um, we appreciate it. We appreciate the assistance. Actually, that RNC is where it's at for couples too. I got it for Christmas and haven't been disappointed. What's RNC? I love the clean scents perfume. Yes, clean scents. Yes, yes, yes. Listen. We love it. Look. Mm -hmm. Now, you know what? Yeah. Purple. She said perfume people can be aggressive. Okay. We understand. I understand. Isn't it, is it commissions and stuff? Russell and Sierra. Oh. Oh, they just came out with a perfume. Mm. Cute. Now, you know, don't don't count the wig out just yet. You know what I'm saying? We getting her together. We gonna we gonna watch her flow. And I hate when they want to spray you. Oh, please don't spray me. That's the quickest way. Let me tell you something. Girl. Ooh. One time I was in Sephora. And this, because I asked about a foundation. I was like, you know, I would love to, you know, get it, like, you know, see how this works against my complexion. And you know you can you can you can do my hand, you know what I'm saying? You can do the forearm so I make sure I don't have allergic reaction. She put it on my face. Girl, I got a discount because one of the associates saw what she did. She's like, she's not supposed to put that on your face. I had makeup on. It was giving just very wrong. It's just it was very wrong. Sometimes the associates be a little intense. Do departments still let you get perfume samples these days? So the last time I was in well, department stores, I don't really know because I was, I go to Sephora for my perfume because they be doing the, um, the three times the uh, points. And you know, we love points over here. So I can't really speak to the department stores, but Macy's, maybe, maybe. Joe Malone, everything and Gucci. So I tried a few with Joe Malone. I don't know about him, but the new Gucci perfume I picked up was very nice, girl. Let's check her out. I'm about to get in my bag. Wait till I start getting her together. Y'all gonna be a mess. Let me. You gotta be a visionary when you do these wigs because, girl. You really got to envision it. This is what it's about. Okay, let's see what she's giving. Because she's about to give. I'm going to put her on. Let me go get my mannequin. Let's look. Mm -hmm. Let me go get my mannequin. Old momento. She been locked up. Oh, her lashes. Let me see. Let me put her on. Can she go on you? Okay. Boom. This the model. Excuse her. We need, we need to. Let's get the model. I'm going to redo her makeup. But she's. Boom. 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 Okay. Again. 
So the mannequin, I gotta put the mannequin in the description box. She did not come like this. I did her makeup. I have a tutorial for her makeup. Oh, let's fix the lash. Let's fix the lash. Oh my God, her lash is really messed up. I'm sick. Don't judge her. She's okay. Dang. You know. Model been crying. She definitely has. It's a lot going on. I know it's tough. It was tough. It's been a, it's, it's been rough. I know. We're not gonna judge her. Like, and that's what what? Y'all not gonna judge my baby? Cause t tell them did they did tell them did they see you in the wig cell when you was killing it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yup, you made your debut. That's right. You still that girl. I know it. Ooh, this is giving me trouble. Sorry, y'all. I mean, I'm trying to remove the, uh, okay, here we go. We about to get her together. And giving. Okay. Cause see now. Oh, I see it. That's what happens. Because I start to see it. Now, granted, her makeup may not go with the look, but let me start trimming her. So, what we look, come, let me back up. Put some respect on her name. Okay? What is her name? We don't even got a name for you, Manaquisha. Manaquita. Um, Khalees, what are we gonna name you? We go, let me just start. Okay, okay, I love it. It's so full, but see, we gotta, we got okay. So, whenever I get into the habit of you know creating a shape for my units, I like you gotta be able to see, you know what I'm saying? So, I adjusted the wig cap. So keep it a realistic distance away from the eyebrows. I feel like that's pretty important. You know, most people not going to have it, too, you know, sitting on the eyebrows are too far back. So right here, you know, probably about three fingers. Now let's start talking. Let's start seeing what she's going to do. I always like to start like, because I know y'all love a, a, a side part vibe. So I like to keep that in mind. So I'm going to just, I'm going to start cutting. And I'm going to just let it work. Ooh. I'm going to just let it work. I'm going to cut a little bit more. Can y'all see? Can y'all see? I got to cut. Because see, one thing about it, she, she said, please respect me. Okay. I don't want to cut too much. Okay, right. Ah! What? I'm tired, yo. Please, please don't. I love this. I love what I do. Like I, I think it's so obvious at this point. Okay, let me. I'm not even trimming a lot. Y'all like the volume? What are we giving? And just so y'all know, we will have similar styles when we have the sale, most definitely, please. Ugh. See, that's how you know. Let me. So I need to get that over there. I need to do that. Please use real hair shears. I know this hair is fake, but you want a clean cut. You want a clean cut. Especially if you intend to wait this wig long. Let me read the comments. Love it, Tina Turner vibe. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta. It's heavy with the gray over here. So I gotta, I gotta make sure it's even. Gotta make sure we're even. You know? No one is scared nobody. Ugh. 
love the gray hair yes you was the first queen on youtube that i learned how to do this style crochet thank you so much queen yes i appreciate it i see a short curly pixie style yes the volume is good yes let me see give them a little bit of give them a little bit of eye even though this lash is really trying it it's really trying Granted, y'all know, I always like to leave a little bit extra, especially if I know I'm giving this away or selling it. I always leave a little bit extra because when you get a wig, uh, when you get a wig, you should expect to trim a little bit. So even if I were to send you this, I, I expect you to put this on and adjust the shape around, you know, the perimeter of your face depending on your face shape. So that's why I don't like to cut too much. I love it here. Whoa. I love it. Can I buy that? <laughs> I'm actually going to be giving this away. So um, I'm probably going to have something similar. Got to make sure I can, you know, access this hair. But yes, girl, we on the we on the move. You can expect styles like this for the wig sale. And just so y'all know, so this is top information. Wig sale, August 2020. Okay? August 2020. I want to see how it looks on you. Girl, I'm not gonna put this wig on. I'm not even I'm not even set up to put the wig on. I got a wig. I mean, I could put a wig. Do y'all really want to see this wig on my head? Oh. Oh. I knew somebody was going to ask. Y'all really want to see this? Come on, tell Tina Turner I said hello. Like, book me, please. Like, like what? this is what this is what the this is what they really want. See, you didn't know. You didn't know from the beginning until now. You ain't know this was gonna be that. We gonna have a ton of this coming to the site, August twenty twenty one. Inventory is going to be limited because my hands make the wigs, okay? But we're going to have a plethora of styles, handmade styles. Come on. Ooh. I'm loving this robe. Thank you. Nordstrom Rack might be sold out. She said, Shaka Khan. Okay. Well, it does say install. Yes, please. Y'all want to see it? Okay, hold on. I'm sorry, girl. They they the one who said this. I didn't. They said it. Okay, so I'm gonna just do. I'm gonna put you to the side. We gonna come back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's figure out how I can put this on my head. This is not the first time. I've had to. Let me bring this up. She said, "Can I place a custom order, girl?" All right, here we go. I'm about to put a wig on with a wig on. What's the, what's the name of the wig you have on? So the details are in the description box. You can have the direct link because this wig does not look the same. I cut this wig, so check the link in the description box. I'm about to put this wig on. All right, so August 2021 is the wig sale. All right, let's see. My wig and songs do not melt like yours. Hold on, let me make sure she don't go nowhere. I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to install the wig live so we get it, you know, so we all on the same page. I'm about to put two wigs on. Hit that thumbs up button. Let me go see what's going on. Let me go get another mirror. Okay. Because I don't want to cut. Because we about to get this going. I feel like that's flat enough. We should be able to do it. So what I would do. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 
Okay, so please understand that I have a wig on my head. Now let me get, hold on, let me go look in the mirror because I got a really... I got two wigs on, but this is with the understanding that gray doesn't look perfect on me. Like, I don't like this color, but, but this, you know what I'm saying? So I would cut a little bit right here. I got two wigs on, but look, like it's probably a little bit bigger, but yeah, if this is your color, if you didn't have one a whole other wig, you would be perfect. Let me, let me cut it. I don't like the gray on me, girl. But let me see. There's different ways you could wear it. You know, let me see. See, this look a little bit more, I don't know, y'all could tell me. Hmm. But yeah. Oh, wait, hold up, I just had an idea. You know. Yeah. Cause you could, you could dead put this on. You see how I did, I got a wig on the front. You could wear you could wear this behind a wig. You know, I would use a headband to disguise, you know, or not wear a wig hat with this. But I mean, you could have your hair with this. You had a hair out too. You got a hair out. With okay. Oh, oh, girl, that was a lot. But I had two wigs on. But yeah. Let me see. Angela Simmons. <laughs> Giving me big pimping vibes. Oh my God, you give her auntie pink vibes. <laughs> she said Atlanta auntie. Ooh, let me. Yeah, so I'm glad you guys like that. We got a lot. We did a lot in today's um, video. We talked about a lot. It was a great kiki. Woo! We love it. So if y'all you have any other questions. Mm. This was good. You did a lot. I love the gray silver looking. It looks natural because it because the gray is like always come in the front. And you know what? That's true. Oh my gosh, I gotta do her makeup over. I gotta do her makeup over. We're gonna give her a whole new makeup look. Give me some makeup inspiration. What should I be doing on her? What you drinking? Um, this is water with chlorophyll in it. Chlorophyll drops. I need a Zoom wig installed. Oh, so you mean like you want to install a wig on Zoom? How much? Girl, I haven't even thought about that. Hmm. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back to you. Uh, keep asking me about that because you know maybe I'll have more information. A zoom wig install. That's a concept. You said chlorophyll drops, yes. All this beauty in one person. Y'all so beautiful, y'all so kind. Um, but if enough people are interested in something like that, like definitely let me know. Um, if anything, it would probably be I wouldn't have a lot of people in the Zoom if I did it. Or would you want one-on-ones? 
I was skeptical about the gray hair, but I love this look. Thank you, girl, you sleep. Thank you so much. We did a lot. We did a lot. We did a lot. Like I said, August 2021. Do you prefer Fridays or Saturdays for wig sales? Mm. Okay, one-on-one. -on -one. You should do a bright look. Okay. So somebody sent me a 613 wig. And so I'm thinking about a pastel color. But I'm not going to say too much. You know, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say too much. I like your lipstick and eyeliner. The eyeliner. Um, My lipstick is linked in the description box. This one is currently sold out. Lady Balls. I don't know. That's the name, girl. It's sold out, but you should go get the second one, which is Drop Dead Red, because this is a great fall color. Whenever I wear it, y'all always want to know about it. My eyeliner is Wet n Wild Mega Liner. It's a cheap liner. It dries matte. It's an intense black. It always works. You're gorgeous. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Are you talking about my mannequin or me? Girl, let me try to fix, fix that lash. Oh, by the way, your profile picture from the Distress Locks. That's my favorite look you probably have done. Oh, thank you. I'm going to be working with, um, potentially working with, um, an official black owned business for, um, for wig. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say too much, but wait on that one. Um, you want mascara, the mascara that I, girl um wet and wild they sent this to me big papa this is my mascara yeah wet and wild they sent me some stuff so but i, I always use their eyeliner i've been using their eyeliner for years where can i get the mannequin oh amazon i'm gonna have it linked in the description box once i um once i finish this live so but just know so i'm gonna link exactly where to purchase this and i'm going to link the tutorial on how i did her makeup because i'm going to be changing her makeup for the next sale so you know this was for the winter we got to give you a spring spring is it a time limit for the sale what do you mean what do you mean a time limit I have learned so much from your channel. Thank you so much. If you made a podcast, I'll be all over it. Listen. Okay, so somebody said Friday. Somebody said both. Oh, girl. Yes, please do a bright look. Okay, listen. Somebody said Saturday, either Saturday. Okay, lots of votes for Saturday. Oh. Yikes, you did her makeup? Yes. I did her makeup. Oh my God, your makeup and not casket that. Thank you. Some people say I wear a lot of makeup, um, but it just depends on what you're going for. Um, I don't wear makeup because I feel like I need it, but even if that was my excuse, that's my prerogative. But I just like makeup. You need one for your birthday in August? Okay, so listen. Here's the thing. So here are, here are a few things. Last time I did the wig sale, I made a mistake that was on, that, that was my mistake. You know what I'm saying? But that's, we praying that that's not going to happen again. I fixed it within an hour and we were up and running again. So I'm going to preview the website. I personally don't like to do the previews because when I do previews, people start bookmarking the website and they start adding products to their cart. That's the smart thing to do, but that's what people do. They favorite the page, they bookmark the page so that when it goes live, they know exactly what's in their cart. Um, everything is, when it sells out, it sells out. And so keep in mind, um, I'm gonna be promoting this on, on, on the channel, on here, on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, because my goal is to sell out and sell out fast.
My birthday was yesterday. Ooh, um, happy birthday, Catherine. Is there eyeliner waterproof? No more MAC lips lash slick from how to get it off. Ooh, um, is there eyeliner waterproof? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, girl. It may not be. But I'm okay with that. I'm I'm okay with that. My um my the stuff for my eyeliner, like on the waterline, that's urban decay. That's that's waterproof. Waterproof. You can really set up some courses. You are so gifted. If you ever do, I will join to support. Thank you so much. You know what? Maybe we could do that in the fall because the girls, the boys and girls are probably, you know, this is time to move around a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. It's a wig, Britain oldie, but goodie. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Where the wig I got for my wig sale on my B-Day, it was bomb. Ooh, Ebony, so did you buy a wig for me? Where the wig I got from the wig sale? Listen, a couple of y'all sent me photos of you in the wigs. So here's the thing. I may be in touch with a few people because if you allow me to, you know, share your work, I might, you know, you know might look out for you what about your lashes um y'all y'all gonna make me go into my little makeup corner um this is like miscellaneous makeup Ooh. okay so boom oh you know what i feel like i'm zoomed in hold up Ooh. Okay, hold up. Mm. Um, it is so stuffed in here. Oh, I'm okay. So basically, they want to try to tell me now. Yeah, I don't know if I can find a lash to show. I usually like to show y'all what I'm using. Oh my bad, it's like all crazy. Okay, so yeah, I can't find it. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. So this, okay, this, okay, so this is this is a brand that I may wear, but this is the brand of lashes that I wear, but not this style. It would be zero one. It was the chic right here, chic 3D and zero one um beauty supply store go to the beauty supply store um beauty supply store yes i actually ran out of these here's another this is another random these are not the ones i'm wearing but this is the brand like get into this brand Ooh, how long have i been up on here hmm. it's a whole mess Ooh. How many packs did you use on that crochet wig? Ooh. Okay, so in total, I would say four packs. I would say four packs. Because one alone for the gray. So you need one alone for the gray. Um, and then I still don't know if I need to touch up the sides. That's why I'm going to say four packs. How much did you charge for your wigs? So... The hand, okay, so handmade, are you talking about handmade wigs or crochet wigs? Because, oh, wait, no, that's the same thing. Are you talking about handmade, like the handmade crochet wigs or like lace frontals? Because lace frontals are the most expensive. Did you figure out which buy you were in? Oh, yeah, I put the link. So if you go back to that video, if you go back to the live stream, there's a link in the description box for the bonnet. Do you do other people's hair? Absolutely not right now. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Mm -mm -mm. This has been a beautiful time because, well, I can't do hair right now though. I can't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Your unit is giving me beauty madness. Yes, thank you. Mm, 
Okay, lots of questions. How many packs? Okay, I did that one. Really appreciate the love you give us. Of course, Felicia. I love your channel. Thank you, Danielle. Thanks for showing us so much love. Of course. I love your robe. Your robe. Like I said, go to Nordstrom. Nordstrom Rack. Macy's is really a good place. How much are your crochet wigs? So those can be anywhere from, it depends. I'm going to say like 95 to, it could be 120. Um, lace frontals, I would say you could see some that are more than 300. Um, I'm just letting y'all get ready. Like some are going to be expensive. Like, you know, it, it could be, you know, close to 400. So I want y'all to be ready. I'm giving y'all ample time because it's quality, great packaging, fast shipping, with tracking, all that. All y'all... I appreciate you too. I love you guys too. You guys are so cute. Oh, let me. But by the next time you see her, she'll be in a different space, new face. Where do you usually get your crochet hair from? So I have, I have a connect. Like I have a connect. So I got a lot of inventory from them. Because we worked out a deal. So it's not something I could like put you on to because we had a deal. Okay, yes. Get Too Faced Lady Balls at Macy's.com. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. There you go. There you go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thanks, Beauty, for the idea. I'm going to try to make me a crochet wig. Yes, please. Yes, most definitely. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was beautiful. I love all the love. If you haven't, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I'm probably going to go live one more time this month. Um, I may be installing a wig. So, because we're, we're getting a lot of questions and we got to make sure we're together. Or if I don't do a live for the install, perhaps... I'll do a video on gluing wigs, but I'm, I need to find another glue. So y'all said Erica J, I'm open. I'll go buy her. If her stuff is in stock, I'll go buy it. Because I can't, the bowl hole, I've been on their Instagram. I've been leaving comments. It's not working out. Yes, we need to see the glue up, please. Um, love your page. I need a wig. Bought the crochet hair and was stuck watching you. Now I know what to do. Yes. Can you do a makeup? I just did a makeup tutorial. I just did a makeup tutorial. Those are standard prices, sis. Stick to your worth. Oh, of course. But yeah. um, Yeah, so probably when July comes, I don't know how many lives I'm going to be able to do, but that's why I like to get them in when I can. Because I love interacting, but August 2021, I'm a... August 2021, more people said Saturday. I'm going to ask one more time. Um, and I'm going to get your feedback on a, a time, like what time of day on a Saturday, preferably. And I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all. So thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves.